Okay. No scatter shot is worthless. Hello, 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 hello. 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 We are back for the Dragonite Master Lock Challenge. The Pocket of Monster. Red. Dot. Let the vision know. Let the vision know. But um, yeah. So we're in Silfco. And, um, yeah, Silfco is a pretty crazy place, some crazy people in Silfco. Also has the most annoying puzzle in the game, I think. But Dave, eh. Dave thinks Victory Road's worse. Victory Road and Seafoam Islands are definitely worse. Strength puzzles are always worse than teleportation puzzles. Did you know no kids are allowed in here? So, of course, uh, the moveset is still at its most complete. You know, it's... It, it's not gonna it. change, yeah. I mean, unless... Unless somehow, all of a sudden, some, like... Magic happened where future generation moves appeared in this game, and... We got, like, Outrage or Dragon Claw. Yeah. And the scientist has been beaten. Because if you did get outraged, I'd tell you to get the fuck rid of Hyper Beam. But. Well, unfortunately, that is not an option. Mm hmm. Apparently, they thought Dragon types were just too overpowered as it was. And decided we can't give them actual moves. Fun fact about Dragon types originally, Gyarados was supposed to be a part Dragon type. But they figured, well, that would just make Gyarados way too overpowered. And yeah. So instead, they'll change him into a flying type. Which is still one of the weirder things for me in Pokemon. Since Gyarados can't learn fly. Yeah. Although, if they change Gyarados into a part dragon type now, it wouldn't matter anyway because. Dragons uh, are nowhere near as strong as they used to be. Yeah, especially with the um, inclusion of the fairy type. Well, yeah, it's kind of what I was hinting at. Yeah. But, in fact, uh, most of the weakness cycle has has been completely uh, revamped for the most part. What is good at killing fairies again? Poison? Steel? Um, poison. Poison? Yeah, yeah, poison and steel. You would think fighting would be strong against them too, but no. That'd make too much sense. Alright, let's kill this motherfucker. The only downside to this is that I'm probably going to have to leave at one point just to refill PP. Yeah, but um... You only have to do it once because once you get the car, the car key, uh, the card key, um, there is a uh, woman on the I want to say seventh floor who will refill your health like a Pokemon Center. Yeah, I remember her. And we are now taking on the second of the four Rocket Brothers. The thing about Silphco is once you know where everything is, it's really not that hard to navigate. I'm not even sure what floor I'm on, because the game hasn't really told me anything. Well, how many flights of steps did you go up? I only went up one, and then I went down one by accident. You went up one and went down one? Yeah. Well, I don't know the teleportation, how that works. Um, they are, they are, it isn't random. They do go to very specific points. Guess that's good to know. So if you go back in the teleporter, you'll go back to the spot you came from. Right. I'm sorry. I'm which, trying to kill stuff at the moment, so. Which is how you get the card key. Let's go up some stairs. I think card key's on the fifth floor, isn't it? It's either on the fourth or fifth floor. Um, let me look that up real quick. I'm on the four Rocket Brothers. Okay. 
You're about to be dead. The car key is on the fifth floor, on a thin path on the bottom right. So, you'll know when you see it. When you go to the fifth floor, you're going to see um, a really narrow hallway. Right. At the bottom, you got there's a teleporter there. Fight the rocket by the teleporter. You know, the one you could actually get on. Uh, toward the bottom of the room. Fight that rocket, go in the teleporter, then quickly go back in the teleporter. Also, uh, apparently fairy moves are also ineffective against fire. Huh. Did not know that. Also, I just said it's a little 60. Nice. But I got the car key. Ready. Fuck yeah. Alright, now the this place is basically do whatever the fuck you want. Because as long as you have the card key, you never have to worry about getting confused. It's kind of like you can go kill everything now if you want. If I'm not mistaken, the teleporter that leads you to the rival is on the third floor. Well, that the card key, I'm probably just gonna kind of kill stuff for a little bit. Go get that experience. Oh yeah, you definitely should. You definitely should. There's no reason to not take advantage of that experience. But uh, but when you're done, I think I think the teleporter for the rivals on the third floor. Let me look that up real quick. Cause it should tell you where uh, all the key points are. Let's say that this healing moment's on the seventh floor. I've already been on the seventh floor. I must be her down there. Is she near a bed? Oh no, it's not her. She's got to be. It's got to be a woman near a bed. Um, let me look. No, the woman with the bed is on the ninth floor. Ninth floor. All right. Ninth floor. Um, I'm looking at a map now. From the staircase, you're going to want to head down, and you're going to see a door that requires the card key. There's going to be a rocket there to fight. Um, once you beat him, go through that door, and you'll see the woman right next to the beds. Alright, so to the ninth floor we go. So you'll talk to her to do your healing. But I always try to get the card key first, and then I take everybody out. Yes. Yeah, Definitely what we're gonna be doing here. I'll Wouldn't be honest, I've I've never found the card key that fast. Yeah, I always remember like the room that the card key is in. I just don't always remember the actual floor number. But uh I always remember what the room looks like. But once you get the card key, Selfco is not hard at all. Ah, I found the healing woman. So now you know to go to the ninth floor when you want to heal. Yep. Well, you know what that also means? It's time to kill everything. So, yeah. Yep. Basically, this place is now completely in the palm of my hand. Yep. Once you get that card key, nothing to really worry about. Um, the only thing that you you would really need to know are where. Oh fucking uh, hell! I guess it didn't empty out my inventory after all. Only thing you really need to worry about is uh where specific points lead to. Other than that. Not really much to worry about. I guess I'm gonna just toss some of these useless items. Like the TMs that I'm not gonna need anymore. Are you even gonna sell them? At this point, there's not. Because of the little situation I had in the beginning of this run with money, 
There's really no point. Oh. Did you ever go and buy all a fuck ton of hyper? You never cashed in for strength. I did not. You have to go and remember to do that, because yeah. you're going to absolutely need strength for Victory Road. Yep. Also need something that can use strength, a slave. You have one. I do. Clefairy. Oh, well, I, for I forgot I caught that thing. Since the slaves don't matter, I try to catch them as early as I can. I totally yeah. just realized that I did not set this part to local record, so I have to remember to uh, pull this off Twitch. Yep. Oh well. It's okay. Quit messing with us, kid. Whatever, whatever. I do what I want, bitch. So, level 61. Whatever, whatever. I do what I want. This glorious beatdown of Team Rocket brought to you by Dragonite. Tra Dragonite. Fuck you. Dragonite, because it can. Is there anything going on in the chat room or anything? Uh, I'm not there, no. so... Just, uh... Just that one comment I told you about. What comment? The one about, uh... Fairy types. Oh. Seven. So yeah. Yeah, Silfco is not. Once you, once you figure out Silfco, it's really not the most interesting place. It's not. I'm just kind of looking for people to kill at this point. And not only that, but you also have all the items that you can. Get off of everybody too. Yep. The thing I've noticed about this challenge is that it seems really daunting at first. Like, oh my god, I only get one Pokemon and once it's dead, that's it. But once you win, or once you start getting, like, once you win a bunch of badges and start getting really high leveled, yeah, it's, it, it's it becomes fine. a lot easier. Found a bunch of useless items. Yeah, he doesn't need the money. He has a fuck ton of money. But I've been giving that advice uh, for a while that he could always sell those items. It's actually, yeah, that is good advice though. The, like, HP ups and proteins and shit like that, that goes for 4,900 a pop. Right. I don't know why they never let me use any of those. Because your Dragonite's already beefed up. Oh. Because you can only use so many of them. You're only like, have like a certain stat level. Fucking here's the juggler, so that means that uh, Elixir's around here somewhere. Sir, I think it's in a plant, so I need to find a plant somewhere. The elixir's in a plant? Yeah, it's a hidden item. Got it. Oh, good. Even I didn't know about that one. 
And then again, I normally don't look for all the hidden items. I only know of a select few. I'm only wanting the elixirs for the Elite Four. I'll need those. And even then, you really don't even need that many elixirs. By the time you get to the Elite Four, you'll end up one-shotting a lot of shit. Right. So that it it's won't even nice matter. It's just nice to have them, just in case. No room five. Especially on, especially on land, you'll be ice beaming everything. Yeah. I guess I can throw away another TM, even though just has room for the Master Ball. Yeah. And that extra escape rope, I don't really need that. I already have 99 of those, just in case things something goes wrong. But even then, now that you know that the ninth floor is a healing room. Yeah. I think I've just about killed everything. Oh wait, this is, this is the last rocket brother right here. I find it funny how uh, they try to act like the rocket brothers are a big deal. They're really just there for you to kill them. They're just random ass grunts. Yeah. I it's one of the surf few is fucking that... killing all these electric types. I know, it's almost like delicious irony. It is delicious irony. Oh man, these Zubats, so afraid. Too spooky. Oh, people. Why'd I kill everyone on this floor? Have I killed you yet? If you get a PP up, give it to um, Ice Beam. Or Hyper Beam. One of the two. Isn't one of those here? Do I have one? No, I don't have one of those. Let me look. I'll go find it real fast if this one here. I was really talking in there is a PP up. There is? Oh shit, it's only in fire red and leaf green. Ah. Well that's useless to me. Yeah. But if you do happen to find any PP ups at all, uh, use it for, y for your lowest moves, obviously. Oh, maybe we can do a video where we just go through the game and hunt down all the PP ups. There's not many. I know. Three items, I'm not gonna pick up any of them. Alright, so I've ki officially killed everything, so it's time to get on the teleport to get to the rival. Is that on the third floor? I think so. You know which one it is? Yeah, you, I know you need the card key to get to it. Alright, that helps, I think. I mean, I've opened everything. Let me, um... Let me go back to the layout for a minute. I'll know what it is when I see it. Found him. I'm at the good heal first. Fuck. What was it, fourth floor or... Third floor. Or it was third floor? Yeah. I'm about to go heal up, though, for PP purposes. Alright. Uh, it's too well, late at least now. You know. It's too late. Oh. When you walk on the floor, he walks up to you. He's like, "What's up?" I can beat him, I think. Remember what I told you, though. Most of his team is weak to Thunderbolt or Ice Beam. This team's dead. Use Ice Beam for the Pidgeot and Execute? They're dead. <laughs> oh, you beat them already. <laughs> Damn. Time to 
Diamonds. At least now you know exactly where to go. Yep. For now, we're going to go heal. It should be noted that the rival is an asshole. He is. Why does he, is he like, why does he not care about Team Rocket either? Like, he's just kind of like, oh, hell, well, since you beat me, you're definitely ready to take on Giovanni. Like, what? Well, if you were that much better than him, why didn't you just kill him? Right. The rival can't be bothered. He's too busy fucking bitches and losing to us. Mm -hmm. Hello, Lapras Guy. Goodbye, Lapras Guy. Which is funny, because in the actual anime, I don't think Gary ever lost to Ash. I don't think he did either. I think they, I think they fought like twice, and both times Gary won. Because fuck yeah, Gary. Which is funny, because Gary ends up retiring. Mm hmm. Retires on top. Yep. Oh, here he comes. Couple rocket grunts. Or a rocket grunt. Giovanni wants to fight. Giovanni gives up. Giovanni's dead. <laughs> Giovanni is easily the biggest pushover in the entire game. Like, he comes off as, like, super threatening and, like, oh my god, I might not win. And then you surf him out of existence. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be like, Giovanni, get me a glass of water. Thank you for saving Sylph. I will never forget you saved us in our moment of peril. Here's our prototype Master Ball. That's always going to be in prototype forever. For all eternity. Throw it away. Yep. I don't think you'll need any more HM slaves anyway. Because you got Surf, you got Cut, you got Strength, and you're not getting Flash. Nope. And you got Fly, so. You did get a Fly HM, right? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Master Race. But for now, I'm going to cut this video right here. Well, I, this is where I will cut it. Um, when I actually have to go back to Twitch because I forgot to local record. But next time, we take on the two gems in um, Saffron City.